So what's coming, I hope, is a mode of horizontal broadcasting in which I'll be able to get information on a channel over and over again. If we broke up the channels and said <coughs> one channel is news, one channel is variety, one channel is drama, we not only make it easier for someone to get exactly what he wants out of television and then not be able to accuse you of being dull. That's Moses Neimer 46 years ago predicting the 500 plus specialty channel universe that we consider the norm today. While recently the Zoomer in chief was in Rome to accept an award at the Nostalgia for the Future Media Conference. Allora, grazie a Moses Neimer. While there he spoke with Italian news network media set and once again gave his thoughts on the future. Buzzfeed or Huffington Post or Vice, which disrupted our conventional media and have hurt these businesses, what do they dream about today? Vice is so thrilled they're going to have a television channel. BuzzFeed is looking to get back on TV. Huffington Post wants a television show. And it seems there are still a lot of reasons, reasons that of course translate into dollar signs for companies to still covet this conventional medium. Recent stats from around the world show that TV continues to dominate the lives of millennials with a whopping 64% that say watching TV is part of their daily routine. Snymer says there are some similarities evolving from this world of viral video that seem awfully familiar. Look at this guy, this teenager who makes a little video and it goes viral. That's one in a million. And if he's one in 10 million, he does it a second time. When you do it a first time and a second time and a third time, can you do them three days in a row? What's that? That's television. <laughs>